Hello everyone, come on in, come on in. This is Carolise, and today we're talking about another exciting business analysis topic, and that is where to start your business analyst career. This is a very common question for newbies or people who wanna transition into the field, and today I'm gonna to answer that for you. So before I get into where to start, I think the most important thing for you to um, start to figure out is what is business analysis, right? What is it? Because you want to make sure you're in the right thing. I know some of you may have seen the title or you know that at your job they have this role, but until you're actually in it, you might not have a good understanding of what it is. But luckily for you, Carolise, your business analyst coach is here and I've already done a few videos now on business analysis, what it is, you know, what to expect. So go check out my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Go check out my other videos because I have videos explaining what it is exactly so you can know before you invest your time and money and effort if this is something that will fit you, right? So you can know what it is. So figure that out first. And then you figure out, does it fit me? Would I be good at doing this? Am I, you know, gonna enjoy the tasks that are gonna come with this career? And for that, I have another video called, Is the Business Analyst role right for you and you can go there and it's going to just talk about general things like innate behavior that you have that will be helpful when you become a business analyst it doesn't have anything that's like knowledge based like you have to know about the techniques no it's just what are you doing right now and what are the things that come naturally to you already and that can help give you an indication of whether or not you're gonna enjoy this field and that video is available on my channel as well so we'll check it out okay once you figure out if you like it, once you figure out what it is, you probably want to understand a little bit more about the tasks that business analysts do every day. So I have another video. I have a lot of videos, as you can see. You can check out the video that talks about what does a business analyst do. And there I go through the tasks that you're expected to do and why and so on. And we also have another video on why the business analyst's job is important. And you can watch those, just get a very high level but good enough detailed understanding of what you're getting yourself into right? <laughs> to see if you really even want to start and if you've done all that and you feel like yes it fits me I want to do this then what's the next step where do you start and I would say if you already have a job you probably want to um, look into trying to transition or you ask around in your department to see if, any, if there's any opening that you could help not necessarily suit your role but you could even just work on a project with someone and get some practical experience but even if that's not possible right now there's a few things that you can do one which is good is that you're watching videos like mine watching videos like mine are going to help expose you um, more and more to the terms to the world just having this kind of conversation would be great to just open up your brain a little bit as to what it is that is entailed in this job and that will be helpful to get you acclimatized to the environment. Um, also talk to people if, you, if it's possible. So if you know that your job does have business analysts, sit with them, try to talk with them. If you're working remotely, try to set up a meeting with them, just you know, chat, you know, um, try to figure out what their world is like and have them give you a first-hand experience and see if this is something that you would be interested to do. Also, if you're not working and you don't have that opportunity, and you're watching the videos, but you still want something that's more hands-on, I would say try to find some case studies. So I know the IIBA, I'm gonna put the link to the IIBA below this video. The IIBA is the International Institute of Business Analysts. It's our main authority body. And so they sometimes have white papers and case studies that you can go read and follow and try to understand how they solve the main problem for some organization. And that could give you an idea of practically how it's applied in a world, real world sense. You can also listen to podcasts. There's a lot of good podcasts out there. Um, I personally like to listen to the IIBA podcast, but they don't really have podcasts as often. But if you just go in your podcasting app or whatever and you search for business analysts, you'll see a number of them. I will warn you though that some of them are a little bit, I don't want to say it, but a little boring, right? Some of them are a little boring. Not everybody's like me, vibrant, and give you what I would say deep stuff in a, in a fun way. Not everybody's like that. And I'm not saying that everybody has to be like that. But my personality is such that I can easily get distracted when you're 
to like too formal like they they use you know huge terms that people don't really know what it means i mean i personally understand it but why are they trying to confuse new people with terms they know they wouldn't understand or if there's an easier way to say something why are you trying to make it so complicated and we're all intelligent people there's no reason for you to try to impress me with the number of words that you know so just break it down and make it simple for people okay <laughs> make it simple that's what i try to do and i hope you enjoy so if you really enjoy the videos and again go and subscribe because that gives me motivation to keep doing this um there's other stuff that you can do as well as you're breaking in but before i get into those check out a word from our sponsors I wanted to share with you a tool I've been using that's really helped my productivity and that is this thing right here called a cube timer so a cube timer is actually this thing and it just has all the numbers in each of the faces and as you're working you can just turn it on and flip it and flip it and flip it <laughs> and whatever numbers on the face that's the number that you start the counting for and when that time is up it alarm so you know you need to stop what you're doing and move on to the next task this has been immensely valuable for you timing yourself and making sure you get things done in a timely manner and I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description below it's actually available on Amazon I'll leave the link below and if you click on that link and make this purchase that will be supporting and helping what we're doing here on YouTube so go check it out and get this wonderful little tool y'all to help you manage your time and be more productive the other thing that you can do uh, to start a business analyst career is just to familiarize yourself with the techniques the techniques are very important and you have to understand how to apply them and which one is most applicable in which situation so I would encourage you to go get the Babak and to read it, the Business Analyst Body of Knowledge, to guide the Business Analyst Body of Knowledge, which is written by business analysts themselves. So get familiar with that book, understand the techniques that they talk about, and then you'll see how you can apply them. The book is not going to help you apply it right away because I find the book to be very textbooky. Um, and so even though you get the knowledge, now you need to know, okay, how do I use all this knowledge? Okay, yeah, I understood it in the book and I passed the exam, but now what do I do with it, <laughs> right? So don't worry, you're going to get there. But at first, just try to absorb the information that you're going to get from the Babok. Once you do that, I think the next thing you can do to start your career in business analysis is to seek out training, right? To seek out online training courses that might be available. I personally have some free training courses on my website. So go to carlys.com, go to free courses, and you can get a number of courses, which is really the video that I've done here on YouTube. And I've organized them in such a way that they make sense. And you can follow them one and the other to actually get the full teaching. Whereas if you're on YouTube, you have to be jumping around, figuring which video to watch next. I cut that out for you. I put it all together. You just go to my website and watch it from there and it will all come together better that way, right? So that's one way you can get some free courses. But there are some paid courses as well that would be very valuable to do. I mean, uh, Udemy has a lot of courses. I mean, there's courses everywhere. So just go search and see which one you can find. I also have a list of recommended courses on my website that are done by other people. So you can, after the free course, you'll see some courses for the different levels, whether you're advanced or you're new or whatever. So you can go there and see my recommended list of courses and you can take one of those just to get yourself in the world and have somebody talk to you and train you on how to do or to apply what you would have learned from the guide to the business analyst body of knowledge. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is practice. Now, I know you're going to tell me I don't have a job. I don't have a case study. I don't have a project. That's not good enough. Okay. You need to find a way to practice what you have learned. You're gonna do some stuff in the class, in the courses that you're gonna do, they're gonna do some exercises or whatever, and you're gonna see some examples on the IIBA website or in the Bible when you read it. But what I want you to do is to look for opportunities to practice outside of that. So for example, you go to um, a business place and you find that the service is poor and you find that people are waiting too long and you find that it took too long to get whatever you wanted to get done done. Well, that's an opportunity for you to apply your business analysis skills. You take on the, the idea of, okay, if I worked here and I had to revamp this process, how would I do that? And why would I make the changes that I want to make? And even though you're not able to like present this to somebody for approval, and even though 
you know, it's all probably hypothetical. It's practice. It's practice and you're going to do it with, with vigor. It's, okay, what would I use? How would I say this? What kind of documents would I produce? What are the artifacts I would look for? How would I, you know, redo this process? How would I do the process flow? Like, you're going to go through as if somebody was paying you, okay? And you're going to revamp that process. So that you can practice because the truth is you're going to get all this knowledge in your head and you're not going to know which one to pull out when because until you get a job that forces you to do that, it's very difficult for you to just come up with it by yourself, especially when you don't have someone to check it to make sure it's been done correctly. You just have to be more self-driven, right? And go out there and practice what it is that you learned from your courses or from the Bible or from my, watching my videos. Practice it is very important. Now, some people want to get the certification for business analysts to get started, and that's fine. You can get the certification. I personally am not, you know, like a big advocate of certification only because employers are not really asking for it right now that much. So you can get it if you're satisfied in yourself that you know the techniques, but if it's not going to really give you like a big edge when you go to apply for a job then I don't know if it's all that valuable, right? It's valuable for you to know. Knowledge is always valuable, but you don't, if you're not, if the employers don't even recognize it, then it's just an extra thing. If you put on your resume that you have the CBAP, I'm sure it's gonna look impressive, but does that mean that you're gonna get the job over somebody who doesn't have it? I don't know. I have no statistics to say that that's true. I just know that most employers don't even know what the CBAP is, and they're not insisting that you have it to get a job, right? So that's where I come from, where that is concerned. But if it feels better, they provide a sense of community because you have a study group or you get support that way. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. Go right ahead. Now, to start your career, you definitely have to look for a job. Like, you can't start your career without a job, right? So once you've done all of this stuff, and you don't have to wait until you're finished. You don't have to wait until you do every single thing to start looking for a job. You can start looking for a job day one. And you look for a job, you, you apply, there are some techniques as to how to find business analyst job and some places to look for business analyst jobs. I've done a video on doing that. And so check that video out. And so go out there, apply, you know, revamp your, your, your resume, make sure your resume is relevant to business analysis. Apply and get out there and try to get employed. And I know it's frustrating. Let me just say, it's not like it's gonna happen tomorrow. You're gonna do the courses, you're gonna learn the stuff and then, oh, boom, a job jumps on your, on your lap. It's not gonna be that way, okay? You all know it's gonna take a lot of time and work. And sometimes it takes you six months to get a new job, six months. So you send out 10 applications and you're like, I'm done. <laughs> it's too hard. Perseverance and self-drive, okay? You have to keep at it. So that's how I think you can start your business analyst career. Let me know if this was useful to you. Leave a comment below. Please go and subscribe down, down there because you know, I need the support. I need somebody to, to, to indicate to me that they like what I'm doing. And when you leave a comment and you like the video and you subscribe, that says that to me. And it also helps the YouTube algorithm to put this content out to other people who may have the same question and don't know where to find the answer. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you all next time.